We are in a place or in a church called Ilona. We are on the top of Mount of Olives. Ilona, it's a Greek language, means Mount of Olives. Queen Helena, when she came here, she built three churches. We saw two churches, the Church of Nativity, where Jesus was born, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, where Jesus was buried and crucified, and the Church of Ilona, where Jesus ascended to heaven. And here, the same spot where Jesus taught his disciples, our Father in heaven, according to the book of Matthew 14. The thing is, this church runs by the Carmelite Order. When Queen Helena built this place, she assumed this is the place where Jesus ascended to heaven. Later on, when the, uh, when the Christian starts to come here, especially the prophet Elijah, she said the ascension took place a little bit more to the north, where we have been now. Okay, that's why the, this modern church, built like the previous one, like during Queen Helena times, it's unroofed. We saw it's unroofed when we go out. And here it has another name, it's called Pater Noster, which means the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. That's why we could read the Lord's Prayer in more than 101 languages. All the Christians from all over the world, from all countries, they donate the prayer. They ask for a piece of place in this place, for a small empty area to uh, donate their prayer in their language. But the title is supposed to be as you spell it in French, since under the French Republic. This runs by the Carmelite order. How do you say English in French? Does anyone know? How do you say French? French. French. In, in English, how do you say, in French, how do you say English? Uh, English. Anglais. English. Anglais. 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 When you say Anglais, you read the language, it said Anglais. But when you see it in a prayer, it says English. How do you spell uh, Philippine in, in French? You read the title. So it will give you uh, the hint that we are, you are, it's under our control, but the prayer will be in your language. Okay? Also, we have the prayer language for the blind people. So this is believed the grotto or the cave where Jesus taught his disciple, our Father in heaven. They found tombs which goes back to the time of Jesus, even earlier than that. That's why we have these tombs, our empty grottos, which they found tombs goes back to the first century BC. Even when Jesus was here, they didn't, not all the people believed in him. They were believing that Jesus would come one day. And there were some people, especially the Jews, they believed that Jesus would come as a powerful man, as a king, not as a regular person and a poor one coming from Nazareth, walking all the down around this area, riding a donkey. Okay? The church destroyed several times when the last church built, built by a lady which donated her money. She was a French lady, she was actually an Italian lady, got married to a French Nobel family which she became the La Tour de Verge later on. She is the princess of Verge. She loved this place, and she asked to be buried here. Once you go inside the church, you're going to see her sarcophagus, because up to now, it's still here. Her bones has been taken and buried in her village in France. Okay? Two brothers, one of them sank in the sea, and the other donated his money. They were rich people to reconstruct this area. This is one of the magnificent churches stand here in the land. What we do usually as a group, since uh, we don't have anyone outside, we can do it now, we pray our Father in heaven in our language, and then we go outside to see the rest of the church.